Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host, Shri Ayer. Joining me today is my good friend, Shantanu Gupta. You've known him as an author, the man who, be- the monk who became chief minister, as well as the monk who transformed UP. Uh, Shantanu Gupta is, is a well-known name, a household name now, and he has come out with a new book. Let us welcome him and we'll talk about how this book came about, the reasoning and why this is so important in our lives. Shantanu ji, namaskar and welcome to P Guru's channel. Uh, namaste, Shreji. Namaste. Uh, so happy to be back with you. So, Shantanuji, I'm seeing a new picture of you, a new profile of you today. Uh, I mean, I didn't know that you've been having a startup that essentially teaches Ramayana to students across the world. And, yeah. and this book appears to have been in uh, a result of that effort that you've been yeah. doing for a long time. So, walk yeah. us through this whole exercise, how it started, mm-hmm. where things stand now, and, and and all your other stuff that you're planning on doing in the next few months. Over to you, sir. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Shriji, this is the book. Uh, it's called uh, Ramayana on uh, Teachings from the Ramayana on Family and Life. And fortunately, Bibek Devroyji, who is the economic advisor to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has done extensive work on Ramayana and Mahabharata. He has given me a testimonial, and Penguin has published the book. It's available on uh, Amazon.in, .uk, .com, everywhere. So the journey goes back around five to six years back. A uh, lot of people in India, my friends know that I'm homeschooling. Uh, me and my wife are homeschooling our kids. We have a five-year-old son and a, a five-year-old daughter and a ten-year-old son, right? When my son was five, the ten-year-old one was five. He asked me a question. He, he on a Sunday he went to a Chinmaya Mission uh, Balvihar kind of class, and he came back and he asked. He must have heard some Ramayana story that how can Parushurama and Rama can exist together, right? Because y- you remember yeah, uh, yeah. When there's, Rama, there's a, yes, yes, yes. Rama yeah. breaks the Dhanush, Parushurama was angry that who broke Shiva's Dhanush, and that was a very legitimate question for a child that how can the avatars can come together? Because his idea was one avatar will come, go back and another avatar will come. That was a very logical question. I gave him some goal goal answer that time, uh, but that, that time my query <laughs> also started right. On Ramayana generally, not only on that question, Ramayana generally, that how much I know Ramayana myself, right? And that's the problem, I think, with almost every Hindu household. And I I, I, I say this with quite, quite a conviction. If Ramanan Sagar would not have made Ramayana and, Mahab- and B.R. Chopra would not have made Mahabharata, many of, us, many of us might not be knowing the basic story, let alone yes, the philosophy, yes. philosophy and depth of these two texts, right? Uh, so there the inquiry started and that time I was also writing my book because it was, uh, like not that time, like after some months I started writing my book, the monk who became chief minister, which you just mentioned. Yeah. And, and to my surprise and a little bit of guilt, I did not know where Ayodhya is exactly around six years back. Can you imagine? And a lot of people across the world, a lot of Sanatani, a lot of Hindus, they don't know where is Ayodhya exactly. They know it's in Uttar Pradesh, but it is in West, East, Middle, near Kashi, near Lucknow. And I also didn't have like clue, though I travel uh, UP extensively, right? So I was going from Lucknow to Gorakhpur and in midway comes Ayodhya. And my driver told then he started doing J to the city, right? And they call it Ayodhya Ji. They never call it Ayodhya. They say Shri Ayodhya or Ayodhya Ji. They say Ayodhya Ji and he's saying, what is the He said Ayodhya. Oh my God, why don't you take inside? And I just had a tour. While returning, I came back, um, got some friends there, visited the temple, the, the temple in the tent then visited the other temple, Hanuman Gadi, and started meeting a lot of traditional scholars, the sadhu scholars, right? And then got like kind of pulled pulled by the by the by the knowledge of Ramayana. That's not only the story, there are multiple layers. There are people who are doing comparison between Valmiki Ramayana and Tulsi Das Ramayana. There are people yes, are doing yes. comparison with the international Ramayanas, like Kakavin Ramayana, Ramakian, uh, Adhyatm Ramayana, multiple versions of Ramayana and the modern Ramayanas also, right? Uh, uh, government is also finding traces of Ramayana and Ramayana culture in multiple countries, right? Like Thailand's kings are called Rama 1, Rama 2. The current king is called Rama 10, right? Uh, Egyptian kings are called Ramses. So all of this is happening. I'm saying, oh my God, that's a lot of like knowledge. And then I started doing very formal study of Valmiki Ramayana, like original 24,000 shl- uh, shlokas, right? And started reading multiple commentaries from Raj Gopalaji uh, Chari's commentary to other commentaries available, uh, right? But because I being an engineering management graduate, right, though uh, in my previous life I called, uh, right, I started inquiring that uh, the people I move with, right, the young parents, 
will they engage with ramayana or how can they engage with ramayana they may they may not read the 24000 shloka uh, shlokas of valmiki ramayana even the tulsi ramayana uh, and not any adaptations they may not even follow murari bapu ki katha or any other katha vachaks uh, so can i make ramayana relatable to them without diluting the original core of ramayana and then came my ramayana school concept and cut long story short by now i must have taught around 4000 students ramayana like one on one one on one means like i i coming seeing them in person or online uh, across 20 countries and that content i brought in this book uh, so i condensed the whole 24000 shlokas of valmiki ramayana into 25 case studies for families right and it's chronological they can follow the story from balakan to uh, yuddhakan from the birth of rama to the device of ravana and also every case study is giving one uh, life lesson which can be useful in some relationship like husband wife relationship husband son uh, father son relationship or any other component of family relationship so that's the idea so that can ramayana travel to a breakfast dinner lunch conversation uh, and become very contemporary without diluting the core value so that's the the story behind this book uh, shri ji that's wonderful shantanu ji that uh, you know you mentioned one very important aspect of this dashavatar it is mm-hmm. believed that the only time when two avatars run into each other is when parashrama and rama meet yeah. and there's yeah. a, there's also a story that parashrama never has a uh, dice and that he he has been you know uh, still he, you can find him in a, in the forest anyway that's just a story we don't know uh, so it, it very interesting stuff and there's a reason why he is doing that there's also some story there's a book i remember having an author explain parashrama's life and tale because remember that parashrama is considered to be the person who brought up kerala what is modern yeah. day kerala from the ocean. god's own country yeah, yeah. god's own country exactly yeah. exactly so there are so many stories that we all you know, kind of there in the buried in the back of our mm-hmm. mind but does the new generation know about it no mm-hmm. also if you notice shantanu ji ramayana ram mandir and ayodhya is now bringing countries that were actually moving away back together yeah. look at yeah. the amount of enthusiasm in nepal they are saying sitama belongs to us and exactly. we are bringing you know uh, gifts right. for uh, the temple it's so hard that shit this is in fact the the, the, shal- the yeah. shaligram sila the shaligram yes, sila yes. from which the one of the vigra and the murti is being made it came from nepal yes yes uh, right. sri lanka sri lanka gave us the stone it seen where sita mata used to sit and the mud from the ashoka vatika so all of that is happening while while we speaking yeah. so this is a, a one in uh, you know one in a millennium kind of an event we, we are is. blessed that we are in this life that we are able exactly. to see all exactly. these things with our eyes sometimes some, you don't understand the momentousness of the occasion where it yeah. happens but i can tell you 10 years 20 years down the road we are going to remember this for a long time exactly. and in this uh, shantanu ji i just wanted to uh, okay, can we bring up the book of shantanu ji amazon.in listing so that we can show the book and its uh, availability and so on it's available today right people can buy it today it's available it's available is doing quite good it's available on amazon.com yeah. and co.uk also yeah this is the listing yeah yeah so so here here is the here is the listing i think this is from amazon.in if i remember correctly yeah, this is 365 rupees and paperback is only 232 it's a special do make use of it and uh, shantanu ji talk to us a little bit about your next book because now you are kind of spreading your horizon from what a little birdie told me that yeah. from yogi ji from the monk you are going to uh, you have set your sights bigger this time talk to us yeah. a little bit about that effort that is in mm-hmm. progress if you want to i'm not going to force mm-hmm. you but it's a very important book here you you got a very beautiful style by the way i did read the cartoon version of you the did, book, you did? yogi so adityanath uh, wonderful book this, this month right yes 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 yeah, yeah. yes so you know uh, so uh, um, i was in oxford for 3 months right the bastion of <laughs> whom we are <laughs> talking about right so i was there for a fellowship and i had to do a research also for that fellowship it's called gurukul fellowship and the book was already out i launched it in uh, british parliament uh, i launched multiple temples in almost did 12 12 13 launches in those 3 months and my research topic in the oxford for 3 months was usage of comic books or graphic novels for political commentary right and i was writing a book anyways or article or piece or some content for 
10 years of Narendra Modi's work, but based on a voter, not like a very hi-fi policy stuff, right? What for You're a voter? Looking at it ground up. You're looking at it ground up. Ground up like, like did, did my life change or not, right? Because if some solar panel is coming, I don't know, right? Uh, did my life change? Voter of all class, very poor people, middle class people, business people, see people who doing very good business, unicorns from there did my life change i'm trying to uh, uh, explore that and while i'm doing the research at oxford i i took a change in the course and said i will do this book also as a graphic novel so i'm trying to attempt a graphic novel on 10 years of narendra modi's work and hopefully i'll bring it by marchish by the time the election will also be declared hopefully last time yes, 2019 yes. but declared on 10th of march so yeah. it'll be about Wonderful. that yeah. Wonderful. See, I, one, one I want thing to tell you I, something more about this book. Yeah, maybe you go ahead. Yeah, yeah. One, one thing about cartoons: uh, many younger demographics love to read cartoons. They they get attracted by the pictures. Pictures speak a thousand words. That is the communications theory theorem that yeah. one picture is worth a thousand words. So there is a big big incentive in doing that. Back to your new book. Go, go ahead. You're going to say something. So uh, 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 you were just saying that how momentous this 22nd January 2024 will be. And I want to relate that to the journey of Rama, right? Though this book has 25 lessons, I'll tell you one or two lessons that how I, what I call a lesson. But the larger lesson of Ramayana is also in the journey of Ram Temple, right? So Ram's journey and Ram, Ram Temple's journey is also same. How I'm, why I'm saying this, see, Rama was about to become a king, right? His coronation was the next day, but the evening, some plotting happened with Mantra and Kekai, and Rama was... Uh, decreed to be go to Vanvas to jungle and he was somehow in both of them he was saying okay if I am a king I am fine if you send me jungle I am fine right and Mata Sita and Lakshman comes along okay and he is not disappointed see otherwise if you see normal Ren in the morning if you get a letter from your company you are the CEO of the company tomorrow I know you will take which suit tie will will I wear which perfume I will wear what will my speech? And by the evening, get another letter. No, no, no. Sorry, you're fired. Right? Almost similar thing happened with Rama. Yes, right? yes, yes. It'll be almost suicidal for a normal modern person. It'll be suicidal, right? <laughs> like, okay, my God, what's this happened? But what is Rama doing? Rama is upskilling himself. He's, you know, what is he doing? If you see the large part of Ramayana, which is Ayodhya Khan and Arandya Khan, he's just searching for a new guru every day. He met multiple gurus. We only know some gurus. We only know uh, Rishi Vashishtha, Rishi Vishwamitra, Rishi Agastha, Rishi. Uh, only four or five names. There are multiple names in Valmiki Ramayana, which we don't even remember, right? And he's learning Yoga Sutras from someone, Veda Upanishadas from someone, Shastras from someone. He's learning justice, like Nyaya Kaise Karunga. How will I do justice when I will be the king, right? He's also learning a lot of Warcraft. Like if thousand people will come, how will I tackle them, right? And a lot of these rishis are giving their years and years of Vidya to him that now we got the correct Patrata. The correct person who can like take that knowledge, right? So he's getting his Brahmastra and multiple times of Dhanush and bow and arrows, right? So he's up upskilling himself for those 12, 13 years. Okay, these 12, 13 years are over. Now by Rishi Agastya, they are suggested that why don't you live in Panchwati, which is today's Nasik, and his wife gets kidnapped. So he lost his kingdom, he lost his wife. And then he fights the biggest war of his life. And during the war, and Rama has a uh, and Ravana had a very mighty skilled army uh, in the hands of Indrajit he almost dies twice right he skips somehow so he's losing his kingdom he's losing his wife he's almost losing his life and in the end Rama is winning and we're talking about Rama sitting across uh, two continents right so this perseverance of Rama that he came back and he became the king he became the name he's Rama so much so that Rama is a title now in multiple countries for the for the king. Ram Raja is spoken by from, from even Mahatma Gandhi, right? So that perseverance, that story is the story of Ram Mandir also. That when 500 years back, it has got broken, multiple fights happen. We only know some fights, but multiple fights happen. Hindus did not, were silent. They were doing some, some, some agitation or something or other. They were praying all along. In fact, they praying, their continuity of prayers helped us in the court. Because it was a title suit. And uh, our uh, the Hindu side has to show the continuity of longest continuity of prayer. So that was happening. Multiple cases happened. 
uh, VHP did, uh, did a social religious movement, BJP did a political movement, uh, multiple cases happened, multiple hearing happened, multiple benches got changed and finally uh, uh, Gagoi ji's uh, bench finally gave in November 2019, right? So that's a, and car seva happened. Mulayam Singh shot at the uh, car sevas. The bricks came from multiple countries with Shiram written on it. I was going Ayodhya last six years, multiple times, and seeing how in Karishala, where VHP, not of, in VHP Karishala, a lot of people were carving the pillars from last two, three decades. And those pillars are being used in the temple today. They were like the those Lego blocks. They had the model of the this model of the temple, this model of the temple ready. And uh, and they were building each blocks and almost multiple blocks are being used now. So all of this journey of perseverance, they had this mind that Mandir Mahi Banayenge. A lot of people used to take pot shot that Mandir Mahi Banayenge, but Tariq Nahi Batayenge. But they were insistent, no, Mandir Mahi Banayenge. Mandir uh, will be there, right? So this long journey of Ashok Singhal Ji, multiple people have their dream, Mandir Mahi Banayenge, right? Though there was no sight. In fact, if I touch my heart and tell the truth, I must have been to more than 300, 400 TV debates in the last 4-5 years, right? I never thought that Mandir, I will ever see a Mandir. I thought it will be a TV debate, it will be a book, it will be a PhD thesis. But will I see a tem temple with my naked eyes? Uh, I never thought. So that's why you were very right. It's a momentous moment. And that's the story of Rama also. And I think that's the story of India also, I think, right? That DNA of India that after like multiple invasions, 800 years of Muslim invasions, 200 years of... Uh, Christian invasion, right? We are still a surviving, living, thriving uh, civilization. We still read Ramayana, we still read Mahabharata, we still read Gita. Even if we buy a Mercedes Benz, it goes to a temple first, right? We pray to the moon, we send Chandrayaan also, right? That That is still only core to a Bharatiya civilization, which is like as a continuity of more than 10,000 years, right? Yes, so, yes. Ram Mandir, Ramayana, Bharatiya civilization, I think they all have this thread of perseverance taught by Rama. That's my my feeling. Thank you so much, Shantanuji. And in our own small way, we have done a few things. For example, I'd like our viewers to see the mm -hmm. uh, the tune that we put together for Ram Mandir. We show the construction of the Ram Mandir. Can we have wow. the tune, please, Ram Mandir? <laughs> So viewers, this is available as a ringtone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's, I didn't even pause. Thank you so much. Um, so this, this, is, uh, this tune is available as a ringtone to all our members. So feel free to become a member even if for just a month. You can download this ringtone and you can use that thing on your phones. Because like Ram hai, dunya dekhe nahi. I want to get that consciousness going in everybody's mind. Also, Shantanaji, with your permission, I have one other little thing. We are going to commemorate Ram Mandir in our own way. We are going to make uh, the Ram Mandir replica available to you from P Guru's website. Can we take a quick look? This is first peaks, guys. And um, uh, it, uh, the, can you wow. see the next picture? So yeah, this, uh, there you go. Yeah. Wow. What so is it made it's, of? It's, it's made of 3D material. Uh, we are trying to go matte white. And this is an experimental version. You can see the translucence also here. Yeah. See the yeah. light coming through. And uh, this is about 15 inches high, 15 centimeters high, 25 centimeters long, about a foot long, about a foot okay. long. Think about wow. it that way. Okay. And, and very intricately captured, very intricately captured all the pillars, the columns, and, and, and so on and so forth. And we will announce you the, the price for this. First, it will be available in the United States. Again, we need to make sure that this is sturdy. This is an experimental thing that we try to do. And, yeah. and we are indeed blessed. 
that everything came together. I will be actually showing you the real picture, hopefully before the 22nd. It is actually being okay. shipped out as we speak. So, Shantanaji, please go ahead. You are going to say something. I think, I think, I think this, this uh, Ramayana statue, in whichever format from wherever you buy, should be in every home. Then like oh, not only a temple, also the symbol of uh, our struggle for this temple, right? Our yes. civilizational struggle for this temple. Like Ramayana, not my Ramayana. You can buy any Ramayana, but make sure only not Ramayana is in a house. Ramayana should become your conversation with your kids, yes. right? If your kids are 10, 12, that's a correct age because it's a it's a very extensive text. And I always tell all young families, by the time your, your kids land in college, right? Make sure they understand Ramayana, Mahabharata and Gita as if they're yes. scholars of these three, three texts, right? And they'll be rock solid, whatever they become. They become scientists, data scientists, politicians, bureaucrats, whatever they become. They do not become sannyasis and sadhus only, right? They should become that also. Uh, yes, yes. Again, these these three will be the pillars of their life. Uh, so yeah, amazing, so very, amazing. Very, very true, very true, Shantanuji. Because see, um, why we need to know these things is because anytime you yourself have a life situation, then yeah. you can say, what would Rama have done? What exactly. would uh, Dhanraj would have done? What would exactly. Krishna have suggested? Exactly. These exactly. kinds of questions will come, and the answers you will seeking will be in these books. Uh, you know, if you read Dharampal's A Beautiful Tree, after yeah, yeah. chapter after chapter, they say about, you know, Gurukuls across India in the 1800s, they are saying how three things are essentially taught in Gurukuls. Mm -hmm. What you said, Ramayana, Mahabharata yeah. and Bhagavad. And, and, and Mahabharata includes Bhagavad Gita, of course, because that's an mm -hmm. integral part of that. So mm -hmm. this is what was taught to you. After that, you learn what you are good at. You specialized in something your guru chose. This was the Varna Vyastha. So we are now going back to our, you know, to get back our future. That is exactly and this is the correct moment. And this yes. 22nd, because the date is a momentous date. I think like New Year, we take resolution. This is like a, not a new year, like a new century, new civilization, new renaissance for all of us, right? So take, take this oath that I will read Ramayana with my family. I will watch Ramayana, understand, think, talk, discuss, debate. Ramayana uh, to start with and then go on to other texts uh, in next many years to come. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And, and we will give you more details about the replica. Stay tuned because we are still trying to make sure that we bring it at a play, price that is affordable for everybody. Yeah, please go ahead, Shantanaji. I just want to tell two two small details also. I was yes, showing yes, you this. Yes. Right? So yeah. uh, I got this these three things, one, two, three. Uh, last evening, someone knocked my door. There were small swamsevaks from RSS and a couple of people came. And it seemed this is going to almost, this, these three things are going to almost 16 crore houses, right? 16 crore will be how much in million billions? I'm bad in... Uh, <laughs> 160 crore is, million. 160 yeah, million. That many houses. So so how many the people it does? It has an akshat, which is a pujit akshat, yes. uh, right? There's a beautiful picture of the Ram temple and a description in Hindi, uh, both the sides, a description on how big is the temple, what, what are the details in the temple, uh, what are the other sub temples, what are the other mandaps in the temple and a Nivedan to everyone, right? And the Nivedan says that that day, right, just make sure that you collect, gather a lot of people, watch it live or arrange maybe a larger screen or a parda or any, any kind of LED to everyone to watch and do Ram Bhajans, Kirtan, Hanuman Chalisa. It'll be like a celebration. And I am getting multiple invitations from UK, US, Australia, let alone India. Every apartment, every housing society, it'll be what going to happen. It is un unimaginable. Like, uh, yes, yes, yes. Changing yes, a yes. condition to Deepavali, <laughs> the way it be right. celebrated. On very true, second. very true, very true. The second, yeah. Just, just yeah. last second detail. Yeah. And we all know that uh, uh, Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi is doing the Pran Pratishta. He is doing an eleven-day fast, and he is doing every every uh, uh, tradition to be followed for his body and mind to be ready for the pranastha, which is also in his busy schedule. He's he's taking his cabinet meetings, he's flying here and there, whatever government work he's doing is doing. But he's doing eleven-day fast, and he's preparing his body and mind to doing that, right? So that's also uh, such a commitment, right? So feeling so nice about everything happening around, right? As you rightly yeah. said. It's like uh, very goosebumps to be in this occasion, to be living and surviving and contemplating this occasion. Yes, indeed. And and Dhanyu Ho Hamsap. And uh, we, we are all very, very blessed to have this momentous occasion. And what little way we can, 
we will all yeah. celebrate this thanks uh, shantanu ji for sharing your thoughts and it ran a little longer than i thought because the, the discussion was so interesting and viewers please like share and subscribe to our channel and share this video link with all your family and friends i'd like all families to have this book on their coffee table thank you so much sir namaskar thank you, thank you. Thank you.